Hi, my name is Paolo, and this is part one of how I do Salesforce. In this video, I'd like to talk about how I create bulk fields in Salesforce. Every now and then, I find myself having to create new fields, and that's completely normal. But when I have to create a lot of fields, then it can be very time consuming to use the standard field creation method within Salesforce. So let me show you what I mean. Here uh, in Salesforce, if we go to the setup and then object manager, let's just go to the lead object and then we click on fields and relationships. So as you know, if you wanna create a new field, you have to come to the object that you'd like the new field to be created on and then click on the new button and then select the field type. And so let's just select the checkbox for, uh, for now. Then you click next. Then you have to populate it with a field label and a name and hopefully a field description as well. Then you have to click next and add it to a profile. Then click next and add it to a page layout and then click save. And that's all well and good if you have to create one field or a couple of fields. But if you have to create 10, 20, 100 fields, then this is going to take you a long time to do. So whenever I find myself having to create a lot of fields, I use an external tool called Toolkit for Salesforce that I'd like to show you today. And so we're gonna use this tool to create maybe 10 fields at once. And I'm gonna call all the fields that I create test and then a number. So for example, test one, test two, test three, all the way up until number 10. And I'm gonna do it on the lead object. So the first thing I wanna show you is that if I search for any fields called test, we have zero results. And this bit will be important a little bit later. So what we'll do now is we'll jump onto the toolkit for Salesforce. This is a website that looks like this, and I'll put a link to this down in the description below. And in this website, we have essentially a toolkit that we can use for all kinds of things within Salesforce. The one that we're gonna talk about today is the field creator. This will allow us to create multiple fields in one go. Now, before we do anything else, I just wanted to let you know that Toolkit for Salesforce isn't created or supported or endorsed by Salesforce. This is a tool created by someone else, but it's really, really good. So we're gonna go ahead and create uh, some bulk fields. The first thing you wanna do is select the environment. So in my case, I'm gonna select the developer environment and then I'm gonna log into that environment. Now, because I've already done this before, it automatically logs me in, but for you, it will ask you to log in. So just put your username and password so you can log into the environment that you wanna create the fields on. Then what you wanna do is you wanna click on query list of objects. And essentially what this is going to do, this is gonna pull all the objects that you have in your environment so that you're able to select one of them. So here it is, select object. We're gonna click on this drop down, And then what we wanna do is I'm gonna click on the lead object in my case. And now I have this really interesting UI. And so I can just give it a label. So like I said, I'm gonna call it test one. And now notice if I press tab, the name automatically populates for me, just like in Salesforce. Then I can select my field type. Now this is much easier to select the field type in a pick list value rather than the general standard UI in Salesforce. So I'm gonna select checkbox for these fields. And then I have two additional options. So under options, I can click edit, and this will allow me to actually enter some settings for my new field. For example, the default value, the description, and a help text. Now, I always, always recommend adding descriptions to any custom field that you create. I'm not gonna do it this time because I don't want you to sit there and watch me type a whole bunch of descriptions. Also, I'm creating fields called test one, I'm not sure what kind of description I could even give to this field. This is just a demo, but if you're creating custom fields, please add descriptions to it. All right, the other options that we have is profiles. So if we click edit on the profiles, now we can select all the visibility settings for field level security for profiles. So make sure you review this as well. Now, to add more than one field, all you have to do is click on add row. And now you can just go in a row and start adding all the fields you want. So give me a few seconds. Let me populate this with some fields. So test two, 
add row. And I'm going to add some rows here just to make things a little bit faster. Test three, test four, test five, test six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now I'm just going to change all of these to check boxes just so that they're all the same. And the reason I'm making 10 of them is because I want to show you how quickly this works. So checkbox for everything. Okay. So we've talked about the options already that you can change. I'm not going to make any changes to my fields, but please add descriptions to yours. And in under profiles, what we can do here is if you scroll down, you can see that you actually have some additional options where you can apply it just to this field or you can apply it to all the fields. So if you do need to make changes to the profiles in terms of visibility, make sure you enter all your fields first, then just take the top field or any field really, make the changes to that one and then click apply to all fields. Okay, so we've got all our fields here, right? These are the 10 fields that we want to create. The only other thing I need to do is click deploy fields. So let's go. I click deploy fields. It's going to start deploying all the fields one at a time. Now, if there are any issues, you're going to get an error message here. So if you do get them, review it and act accordingly. Usually the error messages are quite helpful. So it tells you what's wrong. But in my case, everything was created successfully. So I'm going to click close. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Salesforce. I'm going to refresh this page. And then I'm going to search for test. Let's see. So here it is. I've got all the test fields that we've created already in the system. How amazing is that? I basically was able to use a really easy interface, create all of the fields that I wanted, and they just appear in Salesforce. So next time you need to create a lot of fields, check out this quick little tip. Hope this was helpful. Until next time.